फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल गुड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर फोर डिटर्मिनेंट्स सो नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट विद इन दिस लेक्चर सो फर्स्ट वॉट इज डिटर्मिनेंट वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट वॉट आर द रूल्स टू एक्सपेंड थर्ड ऑर्डर डिटर्मिनेंट सर्वस डायग्राम टू डिटरमाइन द वैल्यूज ऑफ थर्ड ऑर्डर डिटर्मिनेंट difference between matrix and determinant minors and cofactors of a determinant and some textbook examples so these seven points we have to discuss in this uh, lecture so before going to discuss as usual let's close our eyes and then we'll start a uh, uh, prayer god kindly provide your knowledge and wisdom to solve our mathematics problems and our daily life problems thank you god all right and before going to start our class uh, i was go we got our news that 20 uh, indian soldiers are uh, uh, they are uh, matrant that is nothing but they were passed away kindly uh, one minute will uh, be silent uh, to give honor to our soldiers All right, Jai Hind to them. All right, let's move on to that our chapter. All right, let's move on to that. What is a determinant? We want to understand first. So you already know about matrix very well. In this uh, chapter number three, matrix we are discussed. So what is matrix? Say an a rectangular array. of element in a systematic order so means that arrangement is a rectangular array that is we discussed but now here it is what is a determinant determinant is a number means you get one number okay so a number uniqueness of solution is associated with matrix is called a determinant means one number will come when so, uh, when you solve a matrix and when you find a determinant you get one number that number is associated with the matrix okay so example we take so that you can understand what is this determinant so how we can write so for for example capital a is a1 b1 a2 b2 and how to represent as a determinant a so that determinant a we can represent as det a or determinant of a or this normally what we will call modulus of a but we cannot read this as a modulus of a this is not modulus of a so it is not cut it is we can read it as determinant of a determinant of a this is correct you are understood so modulus of a we cannot read we need to read as determinant of a and in this determinant you need to write as a1 b1 a2 b2 here remember carefully so determinant means the two vertical lines you have to draw in that place you have to write all the elements like this two lines vertical lines but in matrices you know that this is in the brackets so if anything in the bracket form that is uh, matrix and uh, which was there in the in the uh, two vertical lines between it was there then that is called as a determinant and it is how we will simplify is just very simple remember a1 b2 means just first diagonal that is a1 b2 minus symbol second diagonal simple what is second diagonal a2 b1 so when you solve this you get one value that value is your determinant of a this unique value 
is associated with matrix that is called as a determinant. So that unique value we can call as determinant of matrix A. Clear? So that is about uh, introduction of determinant. And let me uh, let me write some note uh, for you that that remember you have to remember those points. There are some three points are there. So the first point is. Only square matrices have determinant. This is very, very, very important for you. So only for square matrices determinant is possible. Rectangle matrices or whichever other matrices, it is not at all possible to get a determinant. So you should remember that if you are uh, dealing with the determinants, always that matrix should be the square matrix. Okay, that is your first point and your second point it is if this determinant A or So alright, we are going to discuss our second point and uh, some disturbances was happen or let me go for second point. So in this second point if this debt A or determinant of A so debt A is equal to zero happened or we can say another representation is this but we cannot read this as modulus it is read as a determinant of a determinant of a is zero then it is called a singular matrix so we can call it as a singular matrix so next one it is remember uh, third point is that only that is which was I already explained to you that is if like this is there this symbol not indicates the modulus of A it is called as determinant of A so these are the important points before going to start this determinant definition you have to remember this now let's move on to the what is actual definition according to the mathematics language so we need to understand what is determinant okay let's move on to that so this is exactly the definition of determinant, you have to remember it. Let A is equal to, it is in mathematics language, okay. Let A is equal to matrix A, I, J. You already know that I is nothing but rows and J is nothing but columns. So then when you substitute one, one uh, that is just like uh, according to the order. So here a square matrix of order N. I already said it is only the square matrix, no other matrix is entertained in this determinant chapter. So square matrix of order and n means it may be the one order, the two order, three order that we are going to discuss how to find the value of determinant also. Okay. So here it is, what is definition means let A is equal to Aij is a square matrix of order n. So we can associate a unique number for this determinant of Aij or determinant of A real or complex means that a unique number may be the real number or may be the complex number called determinant of a square matrix of A where Aij is equal to I comma J that means I is nothing but your rows J is nothing but your columns the element of A it is denoted by determinant A so you are understood this this is about definition of determinant and let's move uh, in mathematics language okay if you go for uh, how to find the value sir if square matrix of order 1 means how to find order 2 means how to find order 3 means how to find here in uh, actually more is there but in your class it is possible to find only 3 so not only here even in engineering also it is order 3 only we are going to find that is square matrix of order 1, order 2, order 3. How to find the values of that? Let's discuss. Let's move on to that. I hope you are understood this definition. Alright, let's move on to this. Value of determinant, determinant of a matrix of order 1, determinant of a matrix order 2. So here order 1 means let A is A 1 by 1. So only one single element is there means one row, one column only possible. So A is a square matrix of order 1. Then the determinant of A is equal to debt A is equal to A. 
So now simply I can write here uh, one example so that you can understand. So the first example is this capital A is equal to the given as uh, 5. Capital A given as 5. It is 1 by 1 matrix and what is according to this answer will be so this dead 5. So because here 5 is there that's what dead 5 that is equal to 5 only. Okay, it is not modulus. So why it is not modulus? I am going to explain to you in the second example. For example, A is equal to minus 5 is there. Then here, debt minus 5. And answer also here minus 5. So normally, according to the modulus function, what do you know? If minus is there, we need to write as a plus. So, but we cannot change in this determinant of A. Understood? Even though if you are uh, written like modulus symbol manner, we cannot say this as a modulus in matrices. It is called as a determinant. And if minus is there, minus will get plus is there, plus you are going to get for square matrix of order 1. So order 1 completed. Now we will go for order 2. This already I was explained to you. So let A is equal to A1, B1, A2, B2 is a matrix of order 2. Then the determinant of A that debt A is equal to A1, B1, A2, B2, debt A is equal to A1. I said this a diagonal, first diagonal, A1, B2 minus product of that minus second diagonal product, that is A2, B1. So that if you do, you get example for this. Let me take one example is enough, right? So A is equal to, I'll take as 4, 2, uh, 3, minus 1. So then this is equal to debt A is equal to 4, 2, 3, minus 1. So when you solve this, first multiply these two. 4 into minus 1, minus 4. Then what is symbol in the formula? Minus 3, 2, so 6. Minus 4, minus 6 is nothing but minus 10. We got a real number. It may be the complex number also in some cases, okay? So that is about how to find the value of determinant of matrix of order 1 and of order 2. Now let's move on to the order 3, okay? Alright, now we are going to discuss the determinant of a matrix of order 3 by 3. So let A is a1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. Then, how to find determinant of this? So that means that A is equal to, I already said what is difference between matrix and this. So matrix means in this bracket, um, close the bracket plus you will write and then matrices means in the two vertical lines place so write a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 okay so this we need to write so after this you need to understand here itself i'm going to explain to you the for the concept of concept of cofactors and minors okay so here itself you can understand what is cofactors and minors so first cofactors means let me explain to you like if ij is equal to minus 1 i plus j a i j okay and minus is nothing but minor Minor of, for example, this uh, whole matrices is minor of matrix is if minor is equal to A I J. Okay. Here it is. I plus J is odd means what will happen. So even is what will happen. So let me write here. If it is the sum of I plus J is even, then you will get as A I J. If it is odd number, you will get as minus A i j. This is simple one. You just remember this. Now, how to find determinant of a matrix of order 3 by 3? It is very simple now. 
So I'll write in a form of concept of cofactors. Then that is I'll change into the minus. Okay. So examples. The first I want a one. So if I want a one means what I need to means first uh, how can I write this a determinant of matrix in the order three by three? You just listen this carefully now so that you can understand. So that you can understand clearly. So first, what is here? A one is there, right? A one. Then you remove this part and this part. This is only instructions, which I said to you. Uh, what is the rules uh, to do? Find the determinant of matrix of order three by three means this. So first, A one written means this whole column and so whole column and whole row remove. Then whichever is the back modulus, you have to find what is that. B two, C two, B three, C three. Okay. Next. So remember here how you need to find uh, how you need to write the signs. So first always first one plus means second one minus minus after plus next minus next plus next minus next minus after plus minus plus. In this way, you have to remember so that it is going to be uh, easy for you to solve when you are writing. So now, next word we need to write minus. Why this minus and those are you get to know by using this concept of cofactors and minus. Okay. So now first, a one by small is completed minus, and here it is what b one. And if you take b one, this part and this part remove, then what are remaining? A two, c two. A three C three, so write that. A two C two, A three C three. Next, plus C one. Then remove this part and this part. What is left? Only this part is going to be left. That is what are those? A two B two, A three B three. Clear? So in this way, we have to uh, write first uh, to find your determinant of A uh, matrix of order three by three. Whether you take this or this or this line, whichever the column you can take, and you get your uh, determinant. Okay. So now let me let me solve this. A one, and you already know that if anything like in the two by two matrix form means so first diagonal um, product minus second diagonal. So what you get B two C three. So means this first, next B three C two. Minus B three C two. Then here minus symbol B one into. You can write A two C three minus A three C two plus C one into A two B three minus A three B two. So I hope you all understood here clearly now how what I was written. Just simplify this. You get one answer. That is only your answer. So if you want, I'll write for you that simplified answer for that. So it is A one B two C three. So this simplified answer A one B two C three plus plus B one C two A three plus B one C two A three. And then plus C one A two B three plus C one A two B three minus. Then again you will write as next you will write as A three B two C one A three B two C one plus B three C two A one B three C two A one plus. You'll get as C three A two B one. This you are going to get. Okay. This is about that. And anyhow, I'll write in the form of cofactors and minus. Then you can understand little more clearly how this minus symbol came and those are. Same answer again. We are going to get by using the cofactors and minus. Okay. So let me see that how it is. So now let me check the cofactors form method. So first A one B one C one A two B two C two A three B three C three right. This is your determinant A. 
So now what I need to do here it is whichever here first one is there that we can write it as F11 plus next one it is 12 because first one means first row first row second column so that F12 plus F13 now this how you can write so here F11 means so you already know that Fij cofactors is equal to minus 1 all to the power of i plus j into Aij right so now what I need to do for that so here 1 plus 1 2 minus 1 whole square so already here it is like given for you 2 points if it is even that sum i plus j is even and here i plus j is odd even is happen you get as a i j odd you are getting minus a i j so just different even means you get a i j odd means minus a i j so what i can do here it is 1 plus 1 2 so 2 is nothing but even so that a 1 1 next next one i plus 1 plus 2 is nothing but odd so that you can write minus a 1 2 simple 1 plus 3 it is even number so that plus a 1 3 done up to here then what is your a 1 1 what is your a 1 2 what is your a 1 3 this you have to remember so here i forgot to write here for you all the first number Sorry, I forgot to inform to you here it is what is the first one we may think as this if you go for general form it is a11, it is a12, it is a13, it is a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33 right. So according to that we have to write as first one what a11. So here you need to write a11 here also a11 and f11 plus a12 f12 plus a13 f13 this is called as a determinant how to find so now a11 written minus a12 a12 plus a13 a13 now a11 a11 means here it is so first one remove and second one remove whatever left that part you have to write here a11 what is there that we can write later so first i write general form so here a22 a23 a32 a33 i think you are understanding if you are not able to understand i will take example you can understand clearly that time so now minus a12 then a12 means this is a12 remove this part and this part you get here only these two parts right so that means a21 a23 a31 a33 okay plus a13 modulus a13 so now i want a13 i want means remove this part and this part so you get only this that is a21 a22 a21 a22 a31 a32 a31 a32 so in this way you have to find out and let me write this full form uh, now what is a11 here a11 i thought as what a1 so write a1 a22 is nothing but b2 a23 is nothing but c2 a32 is nothing but b3 a33 is nothing but c3 minus a12 a12 is nothing but what is that it is b1 minus a21 a21 is nothing but a2 a23 is nothing but c2 then a31 is nothing but a3 a33 is nothing but c3 plus a13 a13 is nothing but here c1 then a21 so a21 is nothing but what a, a a2 then a a2 b2 a3 b3 a2 
B2, A3, B3. Now simplify it. A1, B2 minus B2, C3 minus because this part and then this part, right? B3, C2 minus B1, A2, C3 minus A3, C2 plus C1, A2, B3 minus A3, B2. Just simplify it. A1, B2, C3 minus A1, B3, C2 minus B1, A2, C3 minus into minus plus B1, A3, C2 plus C1, A2, B3 plus into minus minus C1, A3, B2. Now all pluses right plus. So now here I can write A1, B2, C3. Next place here B1, A3, C2. Plus B1, A3, C2. Plus C1, A2, B3. Now all the places minus common, B common minus. A1, B3, C2. A1, B3, C2. Next plus B1, A2, C3. Plus C1, A3, B2. So this just simplified. You got a, a, you, you check now previously a written answer and this answer. These both are same only. So because of that reason, uh, we uh, finish this in the form of cofactors and minors. So minors and cofactors used and find answer. And now if I want uh, if you want to know an example method that will be the better so let me explain the example form so that you can understand clearly about cofactors and uh, minors now let me take one example so this is one of the example I am taking one example now example number one the given a is equal to 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 4 given. Okay. How to find for this as this is your matrix and how to find for you uh, date A. So before date A they said to you first find first row first row cofactors first row cofactors and minus and minus so now first I'll find minus of the then we'll find remaining okay this we can call it as a a11 a12 a13 okay so now first minor minor of a11 so A11 means first this part and this part remove and remaining whichever is there that you have to write 5, 6, 1, 4. Clear? So if it is A11 means this part you want that A11 means that first that row and column leave and remaining part only you have to write. Okay? So now this is normal formula 5 into 4 minus 6 into 1 5 fourths are 20 minus 6 20 minus 6 is nothing but 14 so then minor a12 so a12 now so let me uh, rub and then you can understand how to do this part so next one is So next one is A12. A12 is this so that remove this row, this column and this row. So what are remaining? 4, 6, 7, 4. So write 4, 6, 7, 4. Same multiplication 4 into 4 minus 7 into 6. 4, 4 is 16 minus 7, 6 is 42. So when you subtract what you are going to get. So here 6 you are going to get and the 3 minus 1 to 26. So minus 26 you are going to get. Then what is your minor of I write here minor of minor of A13. This is all first row, okay? So then again this part, this part remove and what are remaining to here? 4, 5, 7, 1. 
So right here, four, five, seven, one. And again here, four into one, this first one. Next, next one. Minus seven into five. Four minus 35, that is minus 31. So like this, you have to find minus. And then if there are squad is that the cofactors. Cofactors means just you need to change the symbols, not more than of that. So that means you're you are going to get as in uh, so one one. One plus one you get as a two. So two is even number, even number means you have plus 14 and uh, uh, one plus uh, two, three odd numbers so that minus of minus 26 plus 26 and minor of a one three. So here one plus three is nothing but four so that you get minus 31. It is very simple. First, this is about the minus. I hope you understood what is minus. And now let's move on to the cofactors. Now let's move on to the cofactors. So cofactors are here F11. F11 means what do you know? Minus one all to the power of one plus one. Then A11. A11. Same method, F12 is nothing but minus one all to the power of one plus two, A12. Then F13 is nothing but minus one all to the power of one plus three, A13. So now here minus one, one plus one. This is a sum is becomes even number so that plus will come. So just A11. And here it is one plus three odd number so that minus minus A12. And here uh, one plus three, four even numbers so that you get as plus A13. So what is A11 value for 14? A12 value is minus 26 minus soft minus 26. It is formula minus and here you got A12 answer as minus 26. So A13 is nothing but minus 31. So that here you get minus and minus plus 26. 14, 26 minus 10. This is about cofactor. So I hope you have understood what is the difference between cofactor and minus. So let's move on to the next topic. Right, students, we are going to the next one. Very easiest method how to find uh, the determinant of third order uh, uh, matrix. So, last time I already explained that A is equal to A1, A, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. How to remember easily the determinant of this so it is very simple so what we need to do here here three are there so these two terms again right so that it becomes as very easy a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 now see here so you get three terms are not checked so three diagonals so first diagonal right and then now second diagonal and then third diagonal. This products very simple. So now we can write here it as a1 b2 c3 plus a b1 c2 a3 plus c1 a2 b3. Complete that first one and second one. So I'm going to show to you differently. So now how it is going to be the next to remaining terms. Next, I can tell you method here. Next again, same method. So here, this is your down to front first two diagonal, and this is your second diagonal. This is your third diagonal. Just subtract and do it. It becomes very easy. Minus symbol, and then complete. So like uh, previously you done like uh, for small one what we done A1, uh, B1, A2, B2 is there we written as A1, B2 minus A2, B1. Same method only. Now all the diagonals product added minus next to three diagonals. So very simple A3, B2, C1. A3, B2, C1 plus B3, C2, A1. B3, C2, A1 plus C2, C3, A2, B1. 
C3A2. Simple. You are understood now. This is service diagram. So the person service was formed this. That's what it is. A service diagram they say. And now you are observed. These are three diagrams. Just simply what we need to do is these two terms repeat now. Then just make as a three diagrams. So first three diagrams you can write minus. Then next reverse means down to first. The next two diagonals we can write down. So very simple it is to remember. So that is about your service diagram to determine the value of third order determinant. So same answers only, right? So previously we find with the cofactors, minus, that and this, these both are same. And according to the question, if they are not said to you find minor or uh, uh, cofactors, then you go for this service method and find your answer. Very simple. Right, let's move on to the uh, now some of the examples of your textbook. Alright, first these three problems we are going to discuss. First one, evaluate the determinant 2, 4, 2, minus 3. It is very simple, you already know that. Just you multiply this point. Uh, so directly I am writing your solution here. It is that A is equal to, let me think this as A. So then 2, 4, 3, minus 3, sorry, 2, minus 3, then these 2 multiply, 2 into minus 3, minus 6, minus 2, 4, are 8, so minus 8, minus 6 is nothing but minus 14, that is your first answer, second one I don't want to write directly a right answer, cos theta into cos theta, so I mean on write cos theta into cos theta minus, minus sin theta into sin theta. Now, cos theta into cos theta, cos square theta, minus, minus into minus plus sin square theta. You already know cos square theta minus plus sin square theta is nothing but 1. And now this is again very simple one. So first 3 we have to write. And then your modulus will be 2, 0, 3, 0. Then minus 11 into I already said first one plus minus and then plus. So here minus plus minus. If you want to remember, remember in this way. Minus plus minus plus minus plus. Sorry. This is mistake. Okay. 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 See. First one plus minus plus. To remember here plus minus plus minus plus minus then plus minus plus so this remember okay so now minus 11 into if it is 11 if it is this part and this part cannot be remaining what are those 5 10 and 0 0 so right 5 10 0 0 next now plus then minus 1 into then if you take minus one only these two you are going to get that right five two ten three complete it now three two zero zero minus three zero zero minus eleven into five zero zero minus ten zero zero plus plus into minus 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 one and here five three is a fifteen minus ten two is a twenty now 0 minus 0, 0, 0 into 3, 0, minus 10 into 11 into 0, 0, minus 1, minus 15 minus 20, minus 5. 0 minus 0, 0, minus into minus plus 5. That is nothing but answer is simple. So very simple, remember how to write. So first is 3 write and then these two. Next minus see if you take three that row and that column left leave and remaining part you have to write if i take 11 that column that row remove then whichever is remaining that you have to write so in that way and signs will be in this way you need to remember first plus next minus next plus next minus plus minus plus minus plus so alternatively this okay so that is about your first three problems. Let's move on to the fourth. 
All right, let's move on to the fourth, fifth, and sixth problems. So fourth one, if determine k eight two four is equal to four, then find the value of k. It is very simple. Just you, as you know that, just multiply this k into four four k minus eight two sa sixteen is equal to k. The value of determine is this four k minus sixteen. That is equal to the given as four. So it is given in your question. That's what we written. So now. Uh, otherwise, if still I want to write it, k eight two four is equal to four. Okay, this value is this four k minus sixteen. Minus sixteen go to that side plus sixteen. So four k is equal to sixteen plus four. So now four k is equal to twenty. So four here it is multiplied go to that side division. So twenty upon four, four five is a twenty. So k is equal to five. So therefore, k is equal to five. That is your fourth question. And let's move on to the fifth one. Same as it is, it is. So let me complete here. K into k, k square minus three into minus one, minus three. That is equal to seven. So k square minus into minus plus three is equal to seven. Plus three go to the right side minus three. K square is equal to seven minus three. But when you are writing in your examination, first write like this, which I have given. Then complete this part. So now k square is equal to four. Then k is equal to square root four. That is k is equal to plus r minus two. That is about your fifth problem. And let's move on to the sixth problem. So a they given like this. So it is a three by three matrix, and here uh, model determinant we have to find and write the cofactors and minus of element of second row also. So we need to find the second row. Second row means what should be your? It is a one two. So means sorry, it is second row first column. So a two one. Second row, second column, a to two, a to three. So these we have to find out. So first I'll find this cofactors and minus. Then I'll go for uh, our uh, evaluating that determinant. So now first I'll go for this minus. So minor of eight. So minor of eight. So how to find minor of eight? So if I take eight. So let me write here again: two, four, one, eight, five, two, minus one, three, seven. So if it is eight, what we need to do? So this is eight. Whichever that row is there, uh, that column is there, that remove, and whichever the row is there, that remove. And except that, which are the elements you found? Four, one, three, seven. Right, that model is four, one. So here nothing is there. This four one three seven. This is your minor of eight. Now we are going to the minor of five. So this is about your minor of eight. So next. So what is solution for this four seven sa twenty eight minus three one sa three twenty eight minus three is nothing but twenty five. So next minor of five. So now previously I said same method. You draw separately diagram and then find. So what should be that remaining? This and this remove two one minus one seven. Two one minus one seven. So means whichever the element you took that column you need to remove and row you need to remove. Remaining part only you have to write. Then answer is seven two so fourteen. Minus minus one into one minus one minus into minus plus one so fourteen plus one is nothing but fifteen. So next minor of two. How to find minor of two? They said only for the right cofactors minus of element of second row. That's what I am writing. A to one, A to two, A to three. We are finding. So now what I need to write minor of two. This is your two, and this two parts remove. What you get? Two four minus one three. So two four minus one three. So what I can write? Two three is a six minus minus one into four minus four. 
So 6 minus into minus plus 4 that is nothing but 10. So now you got as minus all you got, then find the cofactors, then for evaluate that determinant. So can I rub this part? I think I can rub this part because you already completed this. So now I need to find what cofactors. So cofactors are F21 I want. So first F21, next F22, next F323. So this all very easy. So minus 1 whole to the power of 2 plus 1. Here also minus 1 whole to the power of 2 plus 2. Here also minus 1 whole to the power of 2 plus 3. Now what are those A21? A22, A23. So then this is equal to what you are going to get. So F21 means that is cofactor of uh, element A21. Okay. So that is yeah, 2 plus 1 odd number means you get as minus. So minus A21. Here 2 plus 2, 4. That is even number. So that plus. So that A22. And if 2 plus 3, 5, it is odd number, you get minus, so minus A23. So you already find the values of A21, A22, A23, substituting. A21 is nothing but, so anyhow, minor of A, uh, minor of 8 is nothing but A21. And next one, it is A22. Next one, it is A23. Just substitute those values. A21 means what is that? 25. So minus 25. A22 is nothing but 15, so that uh, 15 only. Next one, A23 is nothing but 10, so minus 10. So you got all the values, then how to find our determinant? So by using the cofactors. So it is very simple now. So I'll write that A is nothing but, so you already know that the, according to the symbols, so first one you write as plus, minus, plus, minus. Now what is 30A? That is nothing but if it is 2, 1, A, 2, 1, F, 2, 1. Plus A, 2, 2, F, 2, 2. Plus A, 2, 3, F, 2, 3. So now what is your A, 2, 1? So A, 2, 1 is nothing but minus 25. F21, sorry, A21 is 8 and your F21 is minus 25 plus A22 is nothing but 5 and your F22 is nothing but 15 plus A23 is nothing but 2, your F23 is nothing but minus 10. Just now multiply minus 200 plus 75 minus 20. So you get as minus 220 plus 75. So 10 minus 5, 5. And here it is 11, 11 minus uh, 7 is nothing but 4, 1. So minus 145. So that is how we need to find minors and then uh, cofactors. These are what? Cofactors. And then your determinant. So this is determinant of A. So this is about your problem number 6 and let's move on to the last problem of this textbook example. Alright, let's move on to the last problem. Evaluate the determinant. Three, uh, so 3 by 3 determinant they given how to solve this part. This is very simple. So just write whatever given. So I write given. 3 minus 7, 13, 5, 0, 0, 0, 11, 2. So, what I do here, it is very easily, if I want to do wherever the zeros are there, that I can take. So that uh, by using cofactors and minus complete, so that it becomes as very easy. Okay. So now first, 
I'll take you already know that the minus symbols plus symbols I already said to you plus minus plus minus plus minus and then plus minus plus this right so easily you want to solve this go for that so first minus and here 5 is there just write the 5 and if you want this 5 then remove this part and this part means that row and column remove whatever remaining that modulus you have to find that is what minus 7 13 11 2 next 0 is there so here plus 0 into whatever the number it is 0 so that 0 I will keep no need to uh, uh, write that part also next minus again 0 0 into any number 0 so no need to write the remaining part so now after that here minus 5 and this minus 7, minus 7 into 2 minus 14 so otherwise I will write again this part neat manner so here we can write minus 14 then minus 13 into 11 13 ones are 13 13 ones are 13 13 plus 1 14 143 so 11 13 is 143 plus 0 next minus 5 into minus both are having minus add both 4 plus 3 is 7 4 plus 1 5 1 157 so minus 5 into minus 157 that is nothing but minus into minus plus when you multiply with 5 you get answer as 785 so this is about your problem number 7 i hope so you all understood if anyone having doubt comment on youtube comment session so that i can help you all regard this you all